Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome to another RPG Crawler's first look, this time for Isles of Adalar, a indie game currently on Indiegogo. Uh, looking at a uh, rather hefty uh, goal, and doesn't look like they're, they're uh, getting much traction on there, but I thought I'd take a look because their demo is available on Steam, and I will put the link to both the Indiegogo campaign and the Steam page uh, in the description below. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Now, I've gone ahead and I made a character for this, although I think I'm going to make another one, uh, because the demo I, uh, had at one time said that was an issue. I think they've fixed it, though. Um, but let's go ahead and it's going to have multiplayer. It's going to have, like, co-op multiplayer on it, but otherwise be a single-person open-world type place. We'll see. Uh, let's just take a look at these character creations. Uh, not looking great, but... Still early, early. Got a name, got four species, which have... Oh my god. Oh my god. What the... Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with human. Uh, apparently you can go either gender. Um, do uh, various skin tones, that's cool. Uh, general customization. We will go with something like this. Sure, why not? I'll go to characters, characterization, characteristics. You can choose a class template. Now, this game apparently doesn't have classes per se, but these templates offer you different attributes right here. I'm going to leave them as default for night, but it looks like there's various skills. It looks like a, mi a mix of abilities and skills, because you got magic skills down here, but then you got these up here that look like abilities, so there's no, like, there's no split between them. And then you have traits that, uh, I guess they work like feats. So I can choose three. I'm going to go with Lore Master, Charm, and Perception. Sure, why not? Features, uh, just adjust that. Okay. So, so far, it's so good. Let's uh, start the game. I uh, got two versions of the demo. Uh, let's go with 16 gigabyte, because why not? I've got it. May as well try it. And uh, let's let it load. There's no way I'm going to remember all that. I'm, I'm going to have to presume that like at least some of this is going to be covered in the game. I mean, it looks pretty... Come on, there's a kick button? Boom. It's gonna be like, oh, and you take a step forward when you do it. Yeah, okay, so you got a stamina bar on the bottom, hotkeys. Uh, uh, looks like you got a first person view. Uh, standard movement, let's take a look at the inventory. Got ourselves uh, pretty standard stuff in, in our inventory. Can we move any of this to the bar down here? Doesn't look like there's any icons ready. Okay, doesn't look like I can move it to the bar either. Let's find our way around then, shall we? Welcome to the demo for Isles of Adalar. If you enjoy the demo, please consider our wishlisting Isles of Avalar, uh, Adalar on Steam and telling your friends. The demo will be available until our Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign ends. The last thing you remember is being a passenger on a merchant ship heading for Sarsabar. Sarsabir? You've just woken up inside of a cave and are unsure how you arrived here. Use WSD to move, F to switch between first and third person, uh, tab to change movement speed, and hold shift to sprint. Okay. I don't want to go through the whole thing here. Use I to open your inventory and map C to draw your weapon. C to draw your weapon. R to reload bows. So you have to reload bows? Oh, God. Left click for right attacks. Right click to block or aim bows. We recommend that you assign your spells and potions to your quick slots. Before starting them, use X to lock on enemies. Okay. <laughs> so we've got that. I've heard that that's a power attack. Okay. Block. Okay. Um, X to lock off an enemies. I don't. I don't need that. Okay. Tab. 
Tab not doing anything. There we go. And um, I guess we'll we'll see what's going on here. It doesn't look too bad. I will admit it does not look too bad. It looks kind of like a kind of like a budget Elder Scrolls in a way. Okay, that 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 unlocked the camera there. That was unfortunate. It's got a nice first person view, although this depth of field thing, it makes me look like I'm looking through a fisheye lens. Is there a way to avoid that? I, I think there is, but I don't know enough uh, details here. Maybe if we, if we do... Depth of field is not going to be working, is it? No, that just makes it worse. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess I get to get get used to looking through a fishbowl. Yeah, now seriously, in this day and age... Why, 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 why would you do that? Why would you do that? I mean, I guess it's set for VR, but I'm not on a VR set, so who knows? All right, can I talk? No. Oh, but I can apparently sleep in an already thing. I mean, it's early days. I'm not. I'm not going to trash them for every bug. Um, let's talk to this person. This, this is is a one of those beast persons. I don't. I don't particularly care for that. You're finally awake. I know this wasn't what you were expecting. You were on a ship heading for Sarsabar, but we were Sarsabir, but we crashed ashore just before it arrived. How'd we end up in this cave? Ah. Uh, after the crash, we tried to grab as many survivors as we could along with their belongings and drag them here so they weren't exposed in the open. Unfortunately, after entering the cave filled uh, started to after entering the cave, the earth started to shatter again and the tunnel collapsed behind us. Okay. I know a lovely hun such as yourself doesn't belong in your cave. What? I don't want to be charming. Screw that. With Sarsabar being a newly founded merchant store, new, ner, uh, with Sarsabar me, being a newly founded merchant state sold on the promise of wealth and opportunity, this is certainly not an ideal I start. I that. Yes, this whole debacle is very unfortunate, but at least we were both fortunate enough to survive the crash, unlike some of the others. Uh, what caused the ship to crash? No one knows exactly what it was. The earth parted and shifted so suddenly it caused the tide to go out of control. I would have assumed it was an earthquake, but the sound resembled an explosion of thunder. Sounds like a cataclysm that occurs when a massive amount of magical energy is released at once. Really? This is even more concerning. I wonder what awaits us outside this cave. I don't want to do it, but it gives you experience. I'm a Zinian Gosshound. Gossam. Goshand? I needed to escape my old life for personal reasons and sit out to find work in Sarsabir. Whether this is a waitress or a miner doesn't matter to me. I just want to make a living without drawing too much attention you to myself. To Arinmara Soter wanted to speak with you once you've recovered. She's an experienced mercenary. If anyone here knows how to handle a situation like this, it'll be her. Alright, sure thing. Ooh, metal ingots. So apparently there may be crafting. I don't know if there's crafting in it now, but there may be at a later date. Looks like they've got uh, food rating. Is there like a hunger system in this game? No, seriously, is there? Let me take a look. I've got 15 experience. Better than nothing. Um. Yeah, these are just my basic skills. What spells do I have? I don't have any known spells. Uh, reputation... It's a way to tr track reputation. It's got all your basic stuff. It's not too bad. Let's uh, get this into a quick slot. There you go. Mind you, since it doesn't have an icon, I don't know whether that... Oh yeah, that quick slot's down there. Yo, here's here's Rinmar. Let's get started. Uh, Rinmara Soter. I'm glad to see you in good health. You seem to be the only other capable person here outside of me and my son. I'm sure you've noticed by now we are in quite a predicament. Who are you? It's not as complicated as it sounds. My name is Rinbara Soter. I've made a living as a mercenary for hire and decided to travel to Sarsabir with my son uh, Manap to find more work. Uh, Zanane and informed me of our situation. What's the plan? What Zanane and doesn't know is that we were being watched by a pack of uh, Rapuyads from over the ridge line and securing our belongings from the crash isn't going to be straightforward. 
If you aren't familiar with Rapuyeds, they're a humanoid species that monitors the shores and steals from those who they believe to be vulnerable. If they think what you have is valuable enough, they will kill you for it if you aren't willing to surrender. However, they are quite cowardly and will try to avoid confrontation if they could potentially suffer loss or injury. Those bastards are probably scavenging what's left from the shipwreck as we speak. I want you and my son, Manap, to find a way out of this cave. I'll stay back as the last line of defense for the survivors, just in case. Once you've found the exit, report back to me, and you can do go deal with the Rapuyeds together. Manap will be waiting for you at the gate when you are ready. <laughs> okay. So, uh, takeaway here so far, uh, and as usual, I will I will try to play this for a little bit before going over my like final, final stuff, but... Uh, immediate first impressions of this view and needs work because right now I feel like I'm like in a bubble. Uh, and the names, like they're generic fantasy names, they can be difficult to remember at best. And I know that's coming from somebody that plays a lot of uh, fantasy RPGs, but one of my main complaints is that all these weird, bizarre names, I don't know if that does not seem native to. to to cultures I'm familiar with, which is not usually a problem, but just they're hard to remember. So the harder you make it to remember the names of your people and your areas and such, the more people are just going to glaze over it. And that's been, it's not a problem with just this game, but the weirder your names, the harder it is for people to actually give a shit. Alright, let's talk to this face. guy. I tossed at Vedin, couldn't wish for anything more than to talk to somebody, someone like you in a place as welcoming and like this. Your sarcasm is unnecessary. I'm aware that our current situation is less than ideal. I suppose, that will have to do. I suppose you're right. I do have a particularly exotic shield in my possession. Perhaps it will help us get out of here. However, it will come at a price, a personal favor. What do you need? To explain. I forgot to mention that I'm a general trader. I come to Sarsabir to deliver an item that was meant to be purchased from me. Yeah, I'll need you to retrieve it from the it's wreckage. And if those damn Rapuyids have happened to have made off with it, well, I expect you to hunt them down until you have it. The item in question is a gold skull. Sounds like an item a necromancer would search each other. But I'm not one to discriminate my clients. All right, I'll do this for you. Now hand over the shield. Come see me if you ever want to trade. Oh, and by the way, if you double-cross me, I'll send my men out for you. Fair until enough. All right, so let's, let's check out that shield then. First of all, are these equipped? No, these are equipped. Archaic shield, 33 block resistance, adds 20 to vitality, subtracts 7 from endurance. Okay. So this is what I've got. Uh, this is apparently better, so I'm going to equip that. Alright. So I got me an upgrade already. This has got, yeah, this is my nap. Let's explore the place a little bit more, even though this is kind of making me sick to my stomach. Like, seriously, if I throw up all over my keyboard, I'm going to write a very, very angry review at the end. I've, now I know how fish feel. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. This is clearly not helping the situation. So, what do you think? Uh, so you're finally on your feet. It looks like this cave is inhabited by a host of creverots. Vile creatures that are aggressive by nature. We'll have to clear them out as we search for an exit. I hope you're ready for this. Uh, what can you tell me about your background? I've been studying under my mother as an apprentice mercenary. I'm eager to prove myself to her, which is why I volunteered to clear this cave with you. Was there something else you wanted to know? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. Press L to turn on your lamp. Ah, which gives you light. Alright. These are enemies. And combat is similar to uh, Elder Scrolls combat. A little bit more... A uh, little bit more uh, overreactive... Like, I feel like just swinging my sword has me... Just swinging my sword has me taking steps. Which is unfortunate. Like, everything you do makes you take a step in this game. I, I, I'm not sure if I like that. I can adapt to it, but oh well. Uh, 
Okay, creature gelatin and uncooked meat. Is there a take all? No, give me a take all. Yeah, there is a take all up in the, up in the upper corner. I just didn't see it. There you go. Let's take all. Okay, what do we got here? Bar hands closed, an apprentice greaves, and a fabric roll. What do we got here? Uh, Nisvin Alval's uh, last words. And we got a skeleton in a bathtub. That looks like coins, doesn't it? No, it's candles. I can hardly tell because of the the uh, fishbowl effect. Alright, that is weird. That's supposed to be water. That doesn't look like water. That looks like the predator. Now, don't get me wrong. It looks like water there, but that's not how a waterfall works. I know, I know, early days, but art direction is important. Alright, let's use this. I thought perhaps redemption was still possible within the guild. After all, embezzling from the la latest caravan raid was Arnon Brucehide's idea. It was his silver tongue that planted the seed in our minds, taking advantage of our opportunistic nature. Surely Maru Medramatar would understand how we were deceived and only desire to punish the one who was truly responsible. I decided to reach out to Konuvina Divaris since we shared an immense mutual respect for each other. She was very sympathetic to our situation and promised to bring Medramatar to see reason. I met Maru at the agreed location the next night. After tiring negotiations, we were, we were to be given amnesty with the exception of Brewside as long as I disclosed our location. I should have known this was a deception. Instead of forgiveness, all that I was rewarded was a head start. If you're reading this, Arnon, I know, know that this ultimately is ultimately your doing. As for the rest of you, I'm truly sorry. I would rather die by my own hand than wait to be slaughtered. Goodbye. All right, so... Uh, hold on a second. Did that... Wait, why am I... Why am I now taking forever to, to move? Oh, because I hit tab. My bad. Alright, let's get out of here. <coughs> Alright. We've got another of these things. Look, an outhouse. Yeah, props for that. Attention to detail. How many toilets do you see in, like, the Elder Scrolls? I see a couple, but they're usually in caves, not in, like, buildings. Seriously, walk into your average building in any Elder Scrolls game. Yeah, I gotta help this dude. Oh, he got it. He got it. Yeah, walk into your average building in any, in any Elder Scrolls game and see if you can't identify, like, the bathroom. I like to think that means like all of the people in town share like the same one or two. Or they like like everybody in Riverwood goes out to uh Ember Shard Mine to to use the one restroom. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Funny but terrible. Oh look, you've got like a actual gate here. I can harvest the coal. Coal veins. And a metal vein. Picking up all kinds of crafting materials. Press spacebar in combination with the moving keys to dodge enemy attacks. Oh, you can dodge in this game. Left click while blocking to parry enemy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, what? don't. You gotta fix this. Don't do this to me. Stamina will recover faster when your character is walking instead of running. Character will move faster when their weapons put away. If you're having trouble with combat, I'm recommending uh, food and drink. Okay. There we go. That was terrible. I was walking along and then a an automatic dialogue popped up and it didn't stop running. I mean I mean the game's not terrible. It needs a lot of work, but that's to be expected at this early hour. 
It really does remind me of an Elder Scrolls game. Especially starting in a free, what is effectively a prison. How high up this wall can I walk? Almost all the way. All right. There we go. Whoa. Almost almost went after my own person here. Interface is a little bit rough, but 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 reasonable, reasonable. I've seen worse. Oh look, fish. Quiver. A sack. With everything. And then a skeleton. So I'm I'm gonna look Dan Pazur's journal. And I'm gonna address that in a moment. Hold on. After stumbling upon Alvald's fate and reading of his treachery, we must bolster our defenses. There's no time to waste. I suspect the opportunities will be at our throats when night falls tomorrow. It's been a few days and still nothing. We barricaded all the entrances using wood scrap we could find. Now we must wait. I've rather been able to sleep knowing it could come for us at any moment. The guild's plan has surfaced. Instead of confronting us directly, they've managed to lead a band of Kavatas in the cave and to enrage them. I wonder if this is some sort of new magic Maru Madramatar has been working on. So far, our fortifications are holding. Hopefully the Krevarats uh, lose interest sooner, or else we might starve to death. And here's the thing. If she's... I, I just looted fish. There's fish in this. There was fish in this. I looted them. This skeleton died of starvation with fish, and then sat there long enough to rot, but the fish were still in there. Go figure. Yeah, you don't even. I don't even want to know how old those fish are. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, this is a sewer level. It's like a combination of sewer slash prison level. Use the anvil to upgrade weapons and armor. What kind of weapons and armor do I have? Use the stove to create potions? Alright. Take the waitress cap. Cooked meat. There's a crafting station. Alright. Um. I think I've officially looted more. More than I'm going to use. Can I pick the lock? Oh. Oh, so you gotta unjam it between failures. Alright. Um. I think it's slightly less goofy than uh, an Elder Scrolls lock picking mini game, but uh, only just. Alright, so these may be upgrades. I may have to take a look. See what else they got on offer here. Carrot. And, uh, Arnon Brusai's journal. Yes. Uncovering more of the plot. Uh. Let's just take everything. Take it all. All right, let's. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at this armor. Look at the ruffian's bandana. All right, what do I have equipped right now? I've got these two equipped: Wanderer's clothes and Wanderer's greave. Wanderer knight's armor, I think, is better. So let's equip that. Ruffians, Greaves, subtracts four points from Endurance. Uh, Wildlings, Greaves. 
and Wildling's Hood. Both of those seem uh, better, I guess. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure, why not? I uh, still don't have a up upgraded weapon, but uh, oh well. We'll work on it. Oh, there's a tower shield. Nice. Oh, all kinds of fabric rolls. Crafting station. Um, so I've got available recipes. I need one rusty claymore. Um, tier one rusty sword. I've got a rusty sword and a metal ingot. This will give me something with a, a half a point more damage, so I'll craft that. Tier 2 Rusty Sword. Let's do that. The Prentice's Greaves. Let's, let's get the... the Wildling stuff up. There we go. Let's check out that book then. Arnon Rusides Journal. Nisvin Alvov's incompetence knows no bounds. Our heist was going as planned, but he just couldn't keep his damn mouth shut. It was painfully obvious he was nervous about something, which undoubtedly raised suspicion within the guild. Marum Andromatar knew I was unhappy about the recent distribution of wealth, and it wasn't long before he figured us out. That bastard, we do most of the legwork and only get a fraction of the cut. Someone should have ended him a long time ago. And it looks like that's it. Look, another restroom. Yay. Realism. Now this goes down to there. And then that goes up there. Let's, let's go... Well, I can't get over there just yet because this big door is in the way. Alright, well I blocked something. I'm watching my health regenerate quite quite quickly. I'm getting getting my butt handed to me here. Oh no, it's coming after me. Where is he? Yeah, blocking is next to freaking useless here. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Alright. So, leveled up. <coughs> Let's uh, see if I can't loot this. Come on. Let me loot it! So let's, let's, let's level up then, shall we? I gotta do uh, 10 points. Let's go with a boost in physicality. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Just 10 into physicality. All right. And how am I in terms of quests? Right, you can pick up stuff just like you would in Morrowind or whatever. Or Skyrim. Depending on your particular preferences. Oh, this goes somewhere. Ooh, what's this? It's like a, a dead wizard. Yeah, I'll be taking all of this. Malguin Minogan's journal. 
I don't like that these aren't individually, you know. But I can't blame them. I can't blame them. It's overall pretty decent. Let's take a look at the journal. No, not the journal. The inventory, the journal that I just picked up. I hold Maru Madramata in high regards for his abilities as a sorcerer, but his lack of an open mind frustrates me to no end. My research into necromancy could have grown into a valuable asset for the guild, but Maru has forbidden it. For someone who calls themselves an opportunist, it's disappointing to witness them squander this potential opportunity. Imagine if we could perform our work and remove personal risk through the use of undead subordinates. What a waste. I join the opportunist with the hopes of increasing my abilities and wealth further than I had previously thought possible through normal means. They won't let me continue my research, and the money is no longer what it once was. I'm beginning to wonder if there's a path. This is if this there is a path for me to exit without ruffling any feathers. And on Bruce's side, seems to be suggested we should do something about the injustices passed down to the lesser guild members. Perhaps I should inquire further and learn what he is truly trying to say. And that was that, and the dude got himself killed. I'll take that guard's great club and lesser electric eruption spells. Try out some spells, shall we? I'll use this. I will use this. I will use this. I will use this. There we go. So let's take a look at our spells. Quick, quick slot this in to quick slot one. Quick slot this in for quick slot two. Quick slot this in for quick slot three. No. Three! There we go. So let's try to cast some spells, shall we? Well, I can get one of them. I cannot get any of the others. So I can cast one spell. This combat is a little bit clunky, but that's okay. I've seen worse, as I like to say. And again, it is the step forward thing that's really taken me out of it. Man, these things are creepy. Come on. Stop jumping at me. I the that was some great work. You've definitely proven yourself capable. We should go back and get Rinmara before uh, confronting the Rapids. We may be able to talk them down if we have greater numbers. All right, let's go. Except I don't want to go right now. I want to. I want to take a look around. I want to loot these. I want to search the cave. Outside, you'll face a bunch of access to the same abilities you do. If an opponent is holding their block, press Q to kick them and knock them off balance. Boom. Yes. Shades of, uh... What is it? Dark Messiah, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic or whatever. Boom. Just running around kicking people in off cliffs and stuff. Wasn't there a gold skull I was supposed to be looking for? Or is that outside? Yeah, I don't know what just happened there. Let's go up here. Nothing! Let's go down here. Anything worth, worth taking or is that just back? I was back where I was. All right. Hey, shortcut. Let's turn in one quest. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm uh this uh, like the the graphics are okay, but this camera, this like fisheye lens thing, it's making me ill. I feel like my eyes want to die. Yo. 
I'm glad to see you made it back. Show me a lot. Show me to the exit so we can go deal with those Rapuyans. Yeah, let's 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 do this, shall we? Let's get on out of here. Yeah, I'm being followed. Good. Good. Come on. Yes. Got multiple followers. Not bad. I'm going to go outside see how the overworld looks like now. Basically the tutorial dungeon. Alright, uh, yeah, this way. Just trying to remember which way I was going. Alright, let's go down. I still want to see what's up there, but I don't think anything is up there. Cruising all the way over. Yeah, it's not too bad. I like I some of the some of the cave design is pretty decent. Some of it is kind of kind of BS. I, I know, but some of the cave design is not bad. Hmm. Well, let's see. Ah, loading screens. Loading. Yeah, for real? What the hell, man? And encounter an error and must close. So yeah, that was Isles of Adalar after that crash. I'm not going to continue. Um... Uh, what do I think about it? It is available on, in, you know, it's got an Indiegogo running right now, uh, f as of this recording at least. Uh, it does have a demo up on Steam until they get, uh, you know, until they get the Indiegogo done. Uh, so if you want to check it out, you know, you can do that. Uh, what do I think about it? I think it's it looks like a budget Elder Scrolls title. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Elder Scrolls is a good game. Uh, you could pick worse games to try to rip off. Uh, it needs a lot of work. Uh, it's got a decent foundation I guess needs a lot of work needs a lot of interface work needs a lot of needs a little bit of a physics work it actually has a little bit better physics than I expected uh, it's not saying much but you know a little bit better that it's got a little bit gr better graphics than I expected uh, I would work on like basically everything else about the game but it's not a bad start not a bad start what I would recommend is is getting a little bit more work done on the game and then trying to do fundraising again because you got something here. You just... It, it needs a lot more. Anyway, as always, I'll put links in the description below. Uh, this has been the RPG Crawler with my first look at Vials of Adalar. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content, both tabletop and computer. Until next time, take care and goodbye.